still remember the first open gym we ever had. Um, it was at 6 in the morning and the kids just all came in and sat down. And I thought, oh boy, we're going to have to get them a little tougher, a little bit more of a work ethic. Uh, what people don't remember about that first year is we had no seniors. We had all juniors. And we started out one and two and thought we might do pretty good and we ended up one and 21. But the next year we held uh, some things nice for us because we'd, we'd soon start to win. Well, at the beginning, everybody wanted to be on the team, but again, we didn't have a work ethic, which is why we went so early to see who could make it, to see who wanted to work. So, you know, it wasn't just enough to show up. That, that was the first thing I remember, that it wasn't just enough to be there. Now you had to make plays. And so that's how we base cuts. Could you also have a work ethic? And could you make plays? So that was kind of the way we set the team to begin with. Oh, my favorite part was always coaching the kids and, and, and being around the kids. And that, that keeps you young and, uh, you know, the, comp the competing. Uh, uh, most coaches, we really, really competitive. And, and so the competing and being around those kids and, and when you get a nice victory or, you know, even in a defeat where you knew you were growing, it was still, it was still very fun. Again, we, we sent quite a few kids to college. We developed quite a few kids. I'd say my favorite season probably was the year we won the conference. I think HSC had won it five or six straight years with, with two Mr. Basketballs on the same roster. And uh, they were gone, and we finally got in there and won that conference. So uh, that season was fun. We had some great kids, and we lost in double overtime. Uh, to Carmel who went on to win the state so we, we were right there that year. Foundation in year one uh, we came in here trying to just establish habits that's the most important thing I think finding an identity of who you are and what you hang your hat on and I think each year then you start to build that a little bit but you know, for us, uh, me in particular as a head coach, I've got kind of a two-year plan and a four-year plan in that cycle where it's always changing. Um, but we want to put our guys in a position to be successful. We want to schedule teams that will challenge us. We want to play in venues that are going to, uh, you know, bring the best out of us. Um, you know, for us right now in year two, uh, having played in the sectional championship last year to, to a runner-up state championship team, um, you know, we want to get back to that and, and make improvements to win that game. And so uh, I think we're in the right direction right now. We've got to have some guys step up and, and do some things to, to kind of get over that hump for sure. But uh, I think we're definitely trending in the right direction right now. The rules have changed this year a little bit. So conditioning, uh, we're allowed to do more stuff on the court basketball-wise. And I think it's helped our freshmen. I think it helps uh, some of our guys get familiar uh, with some of the expectations once again uh, versus just being out on the track. But more than anything, I think player overlap, I think our, our ownership piece, uh, the difference between buy-in and ownership is, is very key for us. We need players to take ownership and kind of guide the ship, and we have guys that have experience in that that need to continue to do that. I don't know how many threes, open threes, I've got today. Just off of people being lazy. It's, it's funny, like people are, I pressure Terry, or people will pressure me, but when it's time to guard the best shooter in the gym, we just do my open shot. But again, just finding ways to compete. I think more and more the, the times that we can put guys in positions to compete, uh, the better opportunity they're going to have in, in making this season a special season. Uh, you know, in trials for us, it's, it's, a, it's about who can compete, who can win uh, jobs and opportunities, who can add value. Uh, it's not always about who can be the, the top scorer or rebounder, but, you know, we, we need guys with enthusiasm. We need guys who can communicate, who can help other guys 
uh, when there's a mix-up. But uh, defensively, obviously, that's a, an emphasis that we're going to have. Um, so we're excited about getting started here with, with tryouts and seeing where guys fall and how we can grow to get better each day. I think we have to have the motto or the mindset of 1% better than we were the day before. Uh, if we can do that in practice and find ways to compete and sharpen each other, uh, I think that then leads itself to having success in other forms. I think for us also we have to build a bond and a chemistry and a brotherhood that uh, is kind of unmatched. I think teams that are successful have that naturally and, and that's something that we're trying to continue to grow every day in. Um, but I think it, it's an exciting opportunity for our guys to challenge themselves to, to show improvement every day because it's not an easy thing to do.